Hi everyone, thank you for attending our webinar on Barco Present C Series Projectors and ClickShare. We'll get started in just a moment. First, I wanted to do a tiny bit of housekeeping and briefly introduce IAVI to those of you who may not be familiar with us. Um, so, why ProAV from IAVI? We put the reseller first. We've been distributing ProAV since 1997, building strong relationships with our man manufacturer partners, big and small, and we carry all your favorite brands, like Barco. We're here to assist you in giving your customers the best total solution required for their projects with numerous resources, experts, and tools to drive your business. IAVI has no minimum order requirements, and with our wide selection of hardware and accessories, you can issue a single purchase order to fulfill a complete solution in virtually any vertical market. It's a priority at IAVI to make doing business with us simple and convenient for you with order consolidation and outstanding service. Last year, we opened a new distribution center in Indianapolis, Indiana, increasing our shipping capabilities for just-in-time deliveries. We also have an online portal giving dealers instant access to product availability, price, and online ordering. IAVI keeps you informed on manufacturer SPIFs programs promotions, and other opportunities to increase your profits, like enhanced warranties for your customers' peace of mind. And our registration bid desk saves you time and hassle by registering your projects with each manufacturer to protect your profits. You can also count on your experienced and highly trained sales rep to attend regular factory-led trainings on the latest products and programs by our manufacturer partners to keep them on top of the latest technology and trends in ProAV. Take our customer's word for it. Their words are the most powerful tool we have to show you how much it means to us to build and nurture our relationships every day with our customers. We're proud to share their comments with you. Thanks again for attending our webinar. Now I'd like to introduce you to Monty Bennett, National Channel Manager for Barco ClickShare. I'm going to change the presentation over to Monty. So just give me one second here. Monty, it's all yours. There we go, Heather. And you should see my my screen now. We're good. We see you. Good. Excellent. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us today. Um, Salamato and myself and Neil Wittering, if he happens to make it off of a, or out of a, 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 an employment in time, will also be joining us to talk about the projectors. Sal will also cover the projector side of things. Um, as Heather mentioned, I'm actually the channel manager for the ClickShare product here in the U.S. market. Um, I focus about 95% of my time uh, specifically on ClickShare. So I know this product very, very well, and we're going to cover a couple things for you today about why ClickShare um, is, is essentially wireless collaboration made simple for you. So we all know that and, you know, a lot of employees report back that they all say that 25% of their time spent in meetings is unproductive. In what ways do they say that this is um, an issue? Let's see here. Come on, slide work. So many of them say there's always a lack of participation during the meeting. And many times you also have to have some help from IT just getting your systems all connected and your laptop uh, up and running. Or even uh, in some applications you want to bring your own device into the room, like your iPad or a, or a, a Samsung tablet, for example. And you want to share your content that you may have on your other devices. All those things end up uh, contributing to an unproductive meeting. <clears throat> so we all know the problems, right? How do I connect? I'm sitting there with my laptop, but how do I get my content off of it? You know, there's always a weird combination of function F8 or function F5 or something I have to hit. Or the cable's too short. I've got the wrong connector. You know, the image is distorted. My, my PowerPoint was in a 4.3 format, so I'm displaying it on a 16.9 format screen, and it's stretching my PowerPoint. Ah, things aren't right. We always worry about that. So ClickShare. ClickShare is simple and interactive. With ClickShare, we simply just take the, take the buttons and plug them into a USB port on the laptop. The button is the transmitter of the system, so you don't have to connect your laptop to anything else in the room to, uh, to, to make it work. Therefore, if you have an outside user that comes in, they can simply use ClickShare just as easily as an internal user. Okay? So we simply connect, we click, and we share our content. Um, if, forgive me for a second, because my thing has timing set up, and I don't want that. <laughs> Here we go. So as I mentioned, connect the USB, uh, what we call a button, to your laptop. Uh, you actually will 
load a, or run an executable file from the button. So you do not have to load anything. So for those users that do not have administrative rights to their laptop, it doesn't matter. They'll be able to use ClickShare just as easily as anyone else. Whenever you simply just press the button, your image is then sent wirelessly to the receiver and then uh, scaled appropriately to fit on screen. We also have apps for, uh, for iOS and for Android devices. And we have a new feature coming out soon that I'll cover later on for the iOS market. So the big value proposition for ClickShare. Why, why would I want to use ClickShare as opposed to hardwiring a table? Well, first off, we, we provide you a way to have a more productive meeting. You know, in situations where one person is talking about content they have on their laptop, there may be someone else in the same meeting that has something that they want to share at the same time. Perhaps it's a C-level executive meeting, and the CEO wants to see the pretty bar graph or the, the line graph of growth over the last year, but the CFO wants to see the data from a spreadsheet. With ClickShare, we can do that um, instantly, and even in, in some applications with two people on screen at the same time, or three or four even. It gives you a more confident way of getting your presentation up on screen. You're not worried about... Uh, your, your content coming up on screen uh, stretched or not in the right format, and you know that when you, press, when you press the button, your image is going to show up very quickly and easily. And of course, any, it's also impressive technology. So we offer two different versions of ClickShare. We offer the CSM and the CFC. Uh, the actual nomenclature is ClickShare for meeting rooms and ClickShare for conference rooms, although internally and uh, Externally as well, we kind of refer to them as the ClickShare Mini and the ClickShare Classic. So you can feel free to refer to them as that. The, uh, they do have different MSRP dollar values, of course. The CFC being the more powerful and more feature-rich system is a little more expensive. Output resolutions are listed there. So the CSM is designed primarily for a single flat panel TV or just a regular projector. Um, we have some great barcode projectors that actually you can fit the CSM inside the casing of, um, basically under the hood, and have the CSM uh, integrated into the projector. With the CSC, we actually offer the ability to do increased pixel uh, count as well. So whether you're doing a 1610 format, like 1920 by 1200, um, 1610, 2560 by 1600 even, out of this way for it, or we also offer a, a widescreen version of the projector that does 2560 by 1080. So all of those resolutions are actually supported with the CSC. So if you have more people presenting, you want more content on screen, you can do it with the CSC very easily. The CSM comes with two buttons, but you can actually purchase extras and program up to eight with the base unit. And you can pair or program up to 64 buttons with the CSC. Okay. Now the CSM at the moment, as, as of uh, current uh, firmware release, you show one person on screen with the CSM. But the CSC has the ability of showing one, two, three, or up to four people on screen at one time. Now, one thing we also do, I'm going to skip down a couple of lines, is the dual display output. Okay? With that functionality on the CSC, we can actually connect the CSC to two monitors or two projectors in the room. And now, the big advantage to that is that whenever I'm using, whenever I have two people sharing content, each person has a full-size image to look at. Each person has a has, has a full has their image up on a full-size monitor or a projector with the dual display output. With both click shares, we work in typical Wi-Fi frequencies of 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, but there are 20 different channels to choose from. So don't be afraid of, of putting in a high-density application of click shares in a, in a single uh, building. We have many applications out there of 40 or 50 of them on a floor, believe it or not, or even up to 200 or 300 in a building. Um, we can talk about uh, how that how that works and stuff kind of offline. Uh, Heather can can uh, send my email address out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us about those. The ClickShare Presenter mobile apps work the same for both systems, so users are always uh, conveniently using the same app with ClickShare if you're using it from a from a mobile device. The buttons are the same buttons, so if you have a room that one day is not being used, but you want to uh, take the ClickShare buttons down to another room and program them up, you can just do that. And of course, we also have a standard three-year warranty with ClickShare. So a few highlights here. So one thing I mentioned here is the CFC has the ability to have more pixels to present more information. Okay. With that, we have um, our WQXGA projector, which is 2560 by 1600, or the Panorama projector, 2560 by 1080. 
And with ClickShare, it's really cool. So, for example, that image on the lower right corner with four, you know, four screen images up there side by side. That's the layout that we would get when using the click the uh, the barcode present C panoramic projector and a ClickShare CSC. You have uh, more content spread out side by side instead of uh, squeezing it all into a quadrant format on a 169 flat panel. And now I want to talk about a few uh, five five new updates for ClickShare that some of those of you that are familiar with the product are going to be very happy to hear about. Um, for those of you that, that aren't so familiar with ClickShare, these are some new things that are coming out. This is going to be a firmware release in January. So therefore, any system that's currently out there, you can do the firmware update on it and get these new, these new features for free. So first off is Linux support. <clears throat> We've had some end users out there who have told us that they use Google Chromebooks, for example, or have loaded a laptop with a Linux um, operating system because uh, maybe they do server management or something of the nature. We will actually be having uh, uh, ClickShare executable screen scraping files available for the Linux uh, uh, operating systems. You'll be able to download those or that uh, that screen scraping uh, program off of a website and then just load it onto a laptop and then use it with any ClickShare button. They'll be available for both Ubuntu and Fedora uh, within Linux. On the CSM, uh, we will now be doing also two people side by side on screen as opposed to just a single person on screen. With the CSC, we will still have the feature set available to be able to show one, two, three, or four people up on screen at a time. But the two people on screen with the CSM is going to be a new feature update. As I mentioned, simply just um, the, whenever the first person taps the button, they show up on screen full size. When the second person hits their button, the image layout is automatically changed, and two people side by side will pop up on screen. And as I mentioned, that will just be with a firmware update coming soon. And also, for the users out there who are using the uh, Quickshare Presenter app, there's a new layout for kind of optimized for the iPhone 6 experience and for iOS 8 in particular. You'll also be able to import and open um, images and documents from uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or the cloud and so forth um, through, the, through, the, uh, through the app. And you'll also have annotation features on both the, uh, the iPad and also the phone. Um, in the past, we've had annotation features on the iPad but not on the phone, generally because the phone was so small. But now with iPhone 6, for example, uh, that iPhone 6 Plus in particular being a larger screen, the annotation function is there. It will actually work backward through iPhone 5s and 4s as well. So um, when, the, uh, when the update for the app comes out, it'll just uh, uh, notify users that it's, a, that it's available in the App Store and they can, they can go off and download the, uh, the new update for the app. Of course, the app is free, by the way. In addition, and this is something that we've had, but that's a couple of feature updates with it, is the full mirroring for Samsung Galaxy. So for those users out there using a Samsung Galaxy uh, phone or tablet, they can download the Galaxy Mirror app, app, uh, app and then be able to show their entire screen directly through ClickShare and up on screen. Okay? Um, also free in the Google Play Store. But this allows the user to, to completely mirror their, uh, their Samsung Galaxy phone up on screen or their uh, Galaxy tablet up on screen. Uh, as I mentioned, that's something that's actually been out for a little bit of time, but there's a few updates coming uh, down the pipe with it to make it a little more seamless. And then lastly is the big one. So for those out there who have uh, used ClickShare in the past and have always asked us, when can I do full mirroring with my, with my iPad through ClickShare and get away from having to install an Apple TV uh, in here in addition to it? It's coming. Um, in January will be the firmware update to be able to allow this to, to happen. It's only going to be at the CSC1, the hardware limitation for us on the CSN at the moment. But the CSC1 with the new firmware update will act as an AirPlay receiver. So from, a, from an iPad, you will basically look for an I for a uh, for an AirPlay receiver. You'll connect to the ClickShare that's listed as AirPlay receivers, and then you can show your full screen uh, mirroring through ClickShare 
up on to the display or the projector that's in the room. Now, one of the big advantages of using this over an Apple TV is the fact that multiple iPad users can actually share at the same time. In the past, if you were to use a, a, an Apple TV along with a Clickshare CFC, only one person could connect because that was the limitation on the Apple TV side of things. With our AirPlay receiver, uh, basically you know, through software into the CFC, up to four iPad users can actually connect and show on screen at the same time with this. Okay? This program will also allow full mirroring, uh, sorry, will also allow audio to happen from your, uh, from your iPad. So if you need to show a, uh, a video or a YouTube clip or something of the nature, you'll be able to do it. Or if you, um, we also have network integration coming that can allow the ClickShare to exist on someone else's network, which would allow the iPad to stay on a internet capable network and also share through ClickShare at the same time. So all those new features are coming in, uh, in January 2015. And that's actually my last slide. So, Heather, what do we have as far as questions go? I'm going to back up a little bit, and we can, we can go from there. Monty, there was not a single question submitted. Um, what I can do is keep, keep an eye out, and we can chime in after Sal does his presentation if there are any questions that trickle in. Perfect. Sounds great. Okay, so Sal, if you're ready, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it over so you can share your screen. Don't forget to unmute yourself. Sal, are you there? Sal, are you muted? He is muted. Oh, no. Sorry, everyone. We'll try to get a hold of Sal here. I wish we had some on hold music. Is that better? Am I back? There you are. Okay, great, Sal. Go. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I, I was clicking on it. I apologize. <laughs> okay, well, you're in control, so take it away. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Sal Amato. I'm the Director of Sales for uh, CAV product here at Barco. Uh, that includes the projectors, click share, and I'm responsible for uh, the resellers as well as distribution channel. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about our new uh, Present C lineup of projectors. Um, I don't know how familiar everybody is with uh, Barco's projectors, but I think a lot of people think when they think Barco, they think you know the big monsters, the real high-end 40,000 lumen projectors. But uh, we're not just that anymore. So um, I want to tell you a little bit about our Present C line. This uh, okay. So this is uh, just a couple of things we're going to talk about. The corporate AV family overview, uh, present C, uh, value proposition, uh, future outlook. And if anybody has any questions, please feel free to uh, type them in there in the box. And also, just uh, everything I'm going to talk about, I'm really not going to go do a deep, deep technical dive. If there's anything uh, that you have questions or any of these products that you want to see, we can, um, you can talk to your IAVI sales rep. And we can get the product to you. We can do a, uh, a webinar for you and your company. We can come in. We can demo the product. We can send you a loaner. So anything that you might be interested in seeing that we're going to talk about today, please don't hesitate to uh, contact IAVI. And uh, the same thing on prices. Uh, they have this product in stock. Uh, if they're out of stock, they'll get it quick. Uh, but uh, please give them a call if you have any questions about pricing. Thank you. So at the present time, uh, we have a present P, present C, and the present M. Uh, the present P goes from 4,000 lumens to 10,000 lumens. The uh, present C is, is more 3,100 up to, I just think, under 8,000. And then the present M is uh, 10,000 lumens. The projectors that I'm going to be talking about today are all single chip uh, DLP for the most part. 
uh, we, we purchased a company called uh, Projection Design. I think it's uh, just about two years now. Uh, they were very uh, good with single chip DLP technology, whereas Barco was always known for the uh, three chip DLP. So the products that we're talking about today are all single chip DLP projectors. Okay, so meet the Present C family. Uh, like I said, we go from 3,000 lumens up to uh, 7,650. Um, as you can see, I don't know if anybody's familiar with the Present P, but they were a lot bigger uh, in size, where these are more traditional size. They, they are white, of course, like our Present P, but what's really good about these is it's a much lower noise level than um, our other projectors. You know, and that's something, like I said, it's really nice for you to see this, these projectors in, in action. Okay, so these are the 10 new Present C projectors that we were coming up with. And as you can see the different resolutions, it'll pop up you know, which models are at what lumens and what resolution. So there, there are the 10. Uh, just a little quote here from uh, Mary Zawinski from Microsoft. Uh, if you're able to squeeze 10% more productivity out, do you know how much money that will save? So uh, resolution comparison. Uh, this, is, this one's a little hard to read. Um, but just so you know, these are the different resolutions. So when you're selling to your customers, find out what they need, how much pixels they want to show up on the screen. It goes from XGA to WQXGA. Uh, there's not too many people out there that, that go this range in the, in, in the market today. So that is definitely um, a value that Barco brings. So keep that in mind when your customers are telling you uh, what they need. And there are 97.5 more pixels. That means more information. So some of the, some of the uh, comparisons to what's out there, this is what separates uh, Barco from the competitors. Uh, small, stylish design. Sorry about that. I'm having a little computer problem here. Um, OK. Uh, ease of use. Like I said, we have 10 models with four resolutions from 3,000 lumens to 7,650. Um, I think we're, we're one of the only manufacturers where we have 24-7 use, so, and that's covered by the three-year warranty. So a lot of the people, a lot of the manufacturers out there say that they're, you know, 18 hours a day. Well, these, are, and if you use it more than 18 hours a day, the warranty is, is, is no longer good. But uh, with these projectors, it's unlimited use, so it's 24-7, three-year warranty, next business uh, day swap. And uh, highest pixel space unmatched. And the optical quality, like I said, you know, it's hard to talk about it, but when you see one of these projectors compared to other things that are out there, our lenses are all glass uh, and metal lenses, uh, where some of the other competitors have plastic, and that makes a big difference in the, um, in the quality of the optics. It's very noticeable. Just another quote here from uh, Mary Zawinski about larger displays. Okay, so large pixel space documented effects. Increased screen space increases pr productivity. User satisfaction level increases with screen size, high pixel count. Widescreen format gives you the best results. Task times highly reduced up to 63%. And if you're using uh, panels, flat panels, you know, bezels are a challenge. So uh, the, the larger images that you can get using these projectors, uh, get rid of that bezel challenge. And uh, by displaying all the data in a single visualization environment, it's possible to quickly discover and correct potential positioning errors in the data. So you're getting a better picture. So here's just more about the pixel range going from uh, XGA up to WQXGA. Okay, so the present C, the 3000 lumen projector, 
very small, it's only 6.4 pounds. Uh, for, for that footprint, it's the smallest uh, in the industry. Uh, Filter-free DOP design, so you don't have to change out your uh, filters. Uh, your customers uh, will like that. Uh, it's not needed. Um, like I said, very low noise levels, uh, 30 dBs. 6,000 lumens, it's only 16.5, still very uh, light and small, very quiet, even 25 dBs. Um, nice cabinet, filter free, and uh, can have panorama and WQXGA resolutions and full HD. It's just a little uh, sheet here. And uh, Heather, we can get this, this uh, presentation to anybody if they need it. I just kind of need a magnifying glass to read this, but uh, just telling you what, what the resolutions are there. Uh, we, we're introducing, it's actually just about shipping now, um, the world's shortest throw lens. So um, if somebody needs something really close to the screen, this is uh, the lens for you. It's pretty amazing. And like I said, you really don't get the full effect in, unless you, you see this. But it's uh, really cool and actually uh, reasonably priced. So here's a little comparison. Um, we have these available for you, so if you want to look at the Barco Present C against, say, an NEC or a Panasonic or a Christie, we have these comparison charts uh, available for you to show you where we stack up. And this is just the uh, 7200 lumen, 6200 lumen. Don't need to go into to, uh, big detail on that. And then here's more comparisons. And just a summary of all of all the projectors. So such a beautiful beautiful combination. As you know, we sell other pre uh, presentation products. Uh, Monty talked to you about the ClickShare. It's a perfect match. I mean, you can use ClickShare with other projectors and displays, but of course, we want you to use them with the Barco uh, projector. So just talk a little bit about the uh, ClickShare. He's an install. Monty went over all this. Okay. So if you if you look at some of the specs, uh, when we were when we were selling PD, uh, the F series is sort of uh, almost the same as the Present C in that. Uh, we made it easy for people to buy through distribution, and we actually uh, packaged the uh, Present C instead of the F series. If somebody's going to buy an F series, they usually they usually have to uh, pick the uh, color wheel and a bunch of other things that go go with that. Whereas Present C, we've we've kind of uh, packaged it for you um, to make it easier uh, easier for you to talk to your customers about. Um, like I said, uh, you don't have to pick a, a color wheel, whereas if you were a projection design uh, reseller, there's a lot that had to go into uh, ordering that product for your customer. So we, we made that easy. So if somebody asks you for an F-Series PD, you can actually cross-reference it to the Present C. If you, have any, um, if you need any help doing that, you can contact uh, me or anybody at IABI or uh, Neil Wittering, who is our uh, product marketing uh, person, and we'll, we'll definitely do the uh, comparison for you and get you the right projector. Distribution does not stock the F-Series. So that's if, if you need an F-Series projector, you can buy it from IAVI, but there's an authorization, um, authorization um, thing that you have to do. So just contact IAVI if, if you have to have the F-Series. But the present C, like I said, is very uh, it's comparable. We can we can cross reference it for you. Just some features of comparison. And like I said, we can get you this uh, this presentation so that you have it. And just to let you know, all ten of the present C projectors are shipping now, and uh, we're excited for you to see them and sell them and and make some money. That's about it. Any questions? Um, Sal, while you're still on, we did have one question come through from Christina. 
and she was asking, what aspect okay. ratio screen would you use with a WQXGA projector? That's a very, very good question that I don't know the answer to. But I will get you the answer, Christina. And uh, is that Christina with I and the Yes. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll get you that. That's actually, still, yeah, that, that, that's actually a 1610 format um, uh, aspect right. ratio. So any, any 1610 format screen will work 2560 by 1600. Thank you, Mom. All right. Um, and Monty, for you, a question came in right as Sal began. How can an iPad work with the CSM? This is from Melanie. OK, good question. So the CSM and an iPad, what you do is you download the ClickShare Presenter app from the App Store. And the, the functionality, the, the, the directions here, essentially, you connect from your iPad over a wireless network. You'll see a click share uh, being in the environment in your wireless network. So you connect to that click share. It is password protected, so you have to type in click share for the password or whatever it may be set to do. And then you go back and, and fire the app up. And from the app, you can then share through the click share CSM documents like um, images. First off, we have the PDF images. Uh, and static content documents like uh, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files. So with the CSM, you connect directly to the ClickShare Wi-Fi network, and then through the app, you can show PDF, JPEG, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files. Okay. Now, if a user has the, the need to do full screen mirroring off of an iPad and be able to show uh, dynamic content, then they need to step up to the CSV which will have that, uh, that AirPlay receiver built into it and be able to do full screen mirroring. Okay. Okay. I'm um, just going to keep watching to see if any other questions come through. Um, so far, though, that looks like that's it. So we got done in record time here in 30 minutes. If anyone else has any questions, you can type them in, and I will be sure to ask Monty and Sal right away. Yeah, thank you, everybody, and, and happy holidays. Safe uh, holidays to everybody. Sal and Monty, thank you for your time this afternoon to address our customers and our IABI sales reps. You're very thank welcome. You. Thank you for, for hosting us. Thank you. All right. Everyone have a great holiday. Bye-bye. Thank you.